Ciao guys and welcome back to Lampis. In this video we are going to answer one of your questions. Mm -hmm. It's about do we believe in God? What is our religious belief or how does our spirituality influence our everyday life? Simply what church do we go to? Anyways, before we get to that, please leave a like, subscribe if you enjoy our video and most important guys, do leave a comment. That really helps our channel a lot. So let me just start with you. Or should I start with myself? I'm always starting with you. Let me put it this way. I do believe in God. Growing up... Which God, first of all, you know? What do you mean which God? The there are many gods. Christianity. Like uh, the God, the Christian God, uh, the Muslim God. No, the Christian God. The Christian God. Yes. So I do believe in God. And growing up, I mean, we we went to church pretty much every second or every third Sunday, depending on when my mother was free from work. And we pray every day before you get the food, before you go to bed. So basically, these are the most important prayers when when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. We prayed every time before you receive a meal, like just before you eat, and also every time before you go to bed mm. i do believe in god what about you do you believe in god i do believe in god i mean i grew up in roma and the uh, capital of the pope and in being in italy like 99 percent of the people probably they are christian or let me put it this catholic. way nine, nine, yeah catholic 95 percent of the people they are catholic but the fact is, in, in our days, uh, our faith and uh, our religion is not expressed uh, uh, so much. So, even though my parents were Christian, I didn't attend uh, the function uh, they on Sunday. Christian. Yeah, they are Christian, but we are not people that go to church, I have to be honest. They are baptized, they had Holy Communion. Yes. You were also baptized. I was baptized, but that was it, because you I didn't, didn't do want communion. to do Holy Communion uh, at the time. And Why? Uh, that's Why didn't you do Holy Communion? I didn't like, uh, actually, the priest. I was scared by the priest when I was... Uh, <laughs> I was uh, when, uh, yes, uh, you know, because I remember the scene, uh, you know, uh, when you reach the certain age, the priest come uh, to school and met, uh, meet the kids. Uh, telling about uh, speech, uh, making a speech about God and uh, the importance of uh, the Holy Communion to do the discourse where they mm -hmm. talk uh, about uh, uh, Jesus uh, and the by all the story from the Bible and so on. And I just, you know, thank goodness, my my mother's let let me really free on this matter. I say to her that I didn't like the priest, I didn't want to spend time... Uh, and she didn't whoop you, it's just like... No, no, she said, I, okay, it's agree. Also because, you know what I put uh, there, I didn't like the fact that most of my friends, they were doing the Holy Communion just to say, for the sake of receiving uh, the presents. Yeah, do you guys receive presents also from the Holy Communion? Yes, we do. Like we receive clocks, we receive... Uh, all, all sort of, uh, is really uh, traditionally you receive some, something that is made out of gold, so a chain or something with uh, with a symbol like a golden cross that you wear, something ah, like that. Okay, okay, like a necklace. Mm. Ah, oh, I would probably do Holy Communion even way earlier than I did if I was going to. But we don't receive anything. No, we, we, we do. just do it. And basically, for us, not even from the church, it's actually the parents that are always saying. Now you're ready, go. Either you, the parents decide or you just see that, okay, you, your friends are now going to Holy Communion. Okay, fine, let's do it together. Yeah. How do you feel that uh, you're following your religion? Because, let's be honest, we do not go to church here. Now, we do not, let me say, when I was a child, mm -hmm. we always, I was going to church, let me say, just every third Sunday because my mother was working most of the Sundays. Mm -hmm. So we'll go every third Sunday. When I left the, ch the village, that's when I stopped going to church. Why did you stop to yeah. go to church? It's, it's really weird, but when I came to Windhoek, like university time, then I would go to church, and most of the church I was going to, they were like, they were preaching in English. Mm -hmm. And at the village, everybody preached in the mother tongue. The environment is completely different. I couldn't relate it to the, I, I couldn't relate to what I know as church anymore. Mm -hmm. so, I so going didn't. going back uh, to your memories, what was the the part that you like most about being going to the church on Sunday? Yeah, you 
know it's it's also the time to meet with all other kids from the school especially during school holidays ah you go with a nice dress all the time it's also the time to show off a nice dress because this is the only time you put on a nice dress before that all the dresses that were nice we will only use them to go to church so at school you go with a uniform right mm -hmm. and the, all the other nice clothes if you want to show them to your friends you can only meet them at church so that part of it was really fun when I was a child. Then mm -hmm. apart from that, it's really the community coming together. I get to see my aunties, my mother's friends, and play with my mother's friends too. It was just really nice. So when I go to church, I went to church once in Germany, for example. Mm -hmm. I went to church. And I, it's just the songs and everything sounded weird. I, I just cannot relate. And there's no more that gathering after the church that I'm used to. It might be, it's, it's just, I can't so, relate to that. So, let me say, it's, it was more like, it was not like I go to church because I'm meeting God or no. I feel closer to God. It's just because of uh, the the um, the cultural moment, yes, less, so to say. Yes, I grew up to me more, as, it's a community thing. That's what mm -hmm. we do on a Sunday on a Sunday morning. And it was just nice, a community gathering. I didn't do it more from the gut yet, even though I pray. That The praying but I, I still pray up to today. Mm -hmm. But going to church now, here, it's a little bit weird. I mean, I've tried, but it just... Mm, nah. We also went to church once. Remember before the wedding, we went to church once or twice in, uh, in Rome. And uh, it was difficult. Okay. It was not enjoyable. But let me put it this way. Praying still remains there, and you know what? When I go to the, when I go visit my parents, I still go to church. I understand. And I just miss that, but when I go to church, it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't okay. feel the same. So, what do you pray for? Anything I want. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let me let me put it this: Do we pray? Do you pray? Okay, uh, that's a uh, a big thing. It's not that that I that I pray because. Uh, Okay. Do you pray or not? Yes or no? I do pray, but okay. it's not a request. I don't. I don't request because uh, what I I believe, like growing up, I really started uh, to look for a different kind of spirituality. Um, I didn't like church. I didn't like many uh, things that the church, the, especially the Catholic Church, did in the history, like the Crusade. Uh, or many things again for example the um, the use of contraceptive again ah, the, okay. against mm -hmm. the 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 gay people and it was ah, something okay. that i couldn't mm -hmm. i couldn't uh, i could i couldn't really get along with so that really bring me far far away from church and from christianity and i started to look to into a different kind of spirituality like curious um, we never discussed this before. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not that. It's um, it's more like I do believe, as I said, I do believe uh, in God, mm -hmm. but it's more like uh, for me the 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 reality in which we are living is the actual miracle. Okay. The experience of life is the biggest sign that uh, there is a, a superior entity, uh, and. Uh, being alive and live our life is the the most amazing experience that that can possibly happen. I think like is is a is is a gift. I feel life like a big gift that we have, big uh, opportunity, and um, I think that love is, uh, that God is within ourselves. So every li every of uh, any one of us is carrying uh, within themselves a little piece of uh, God and um, is our soul uh, that is guiding us into do some kind of experience in life that bring us to uh, to elevate our soul. I do believe for example in reincarnation so this is just something completely different from Christianity uh, and it's something that I actually developed on my own. I, of course, I read uh, some books, but I didn't uh, agree with um, any religion totally. I always found uh, some part of critics that I couldn't ac und understand. And that's why I, I decided to develop my own spirituality. So when you ask me if I pray, I do not pray in a sense that I am asking somebody 
uh, like uh, the entity to to something that is material for my own life what i try to do is like to meditate and uh, to connect uh, with the everything because oh, okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because what i think is that I, there is a um god is like this uh, huge net uh, that extend to all through the universe and uh, and that is connecting all the living being and also not living being so I think that more this is more like a spirituality religion it doesn't have almost anything to do uh, with Christianity anymore but uh, still a religion it doesn't have to be Christianity if people are interested to know if we pray together mm -hmm. do we pray together no no, never. <laughs> no, we don't. I do, I mean, I do pray, but like, I don't pray for requests. Basically, most of the time I just pray for things, like to give things for... Yes. Oh, I'm healthy, I woke up today. I mean, like th there is something that uh, we do uh, before we go to sleep that can say... Give gratitude for Give everything. gratitude. Like, yes. uh, before we go to sleep, uh, um, we, we really stop five minutes and... Uh, uh, we ask uh, each other what we are grateful for uh, during that for the things that happen during the day or for things that are in our life yes this is what we do every day like yeah, what are you thankful for at the end of the day yeah that is a, maybe it can be considered a kind of okay so let, let me ask you what is God for you the Christianity God Yes, no, but it's what is God? Power. It's, it's a superpower super that is watching over you. It's watching over me when I wake up. It's just, yeah, it's mm -hmm. just the superpower. So what what kind of influence has this superpower uh, in your life? I have no idea. As a scientist, know. because you are a scientist, uh, so yes, you are a scientist woman. I did study DNA analysis in bacteria. I wasn't investigating cat dog. The priest, for example, is preaching not to use contraceptive. Do you agree on this? You know, or you, many other things. I don't know. Like, the, for example, the role... I think, let me put it this way. For example, growing up, yeah, I think in the Bible there's always... Uh, and I grew up in a community that is very Christian. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they are very Christian, but, you know, we go to church often. Let me say, every... Some people even go to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And... There, you are taught a lot of uh, wait for marriage, sex only after marriage. But I'm telling you in my community, I don't even know who ever did that. Most of the people were pregnant by 18. So, mm -hmm. yeah, the preaching is there. I don't know how much of that really people take with them and follow it every day. Mm -hmm. Like, to be honest, the issue of contraceptive, if it was working, this preaching stuff, maybe it did work when the... It does work when the Pope is preaching, but in my village, it never worked because if it was working, everybody would be happy that girls don't get pregnant when they are teenagers. But it worked in a sense that uh, people are not using contraceptive. I, I don't think that is... People should blame that on the church because church is also telling you not to have sex, so why are you having sex and then you are not using contraceptive and you say, this is directly from the church. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly don't think that has much to do with the church. The church. I mean... I think the most important thing about Christianity that I really find critical is heaven. Mm. Now, heaven is like the promise of a beautiful garden where you go to when you behave good. I don't have a problem behaving good. I think I'm a nice person in general. I don't go out committing crimes or hurting other people. But the issue of heaven and if heaven is there, like people always say, like, I think there was a comment that says, yeah, something but work so hard or go to church so you can go to heaven or something like that and i'm like oh. amazing i would love to go to heaven i just don't know if it's there mm -hmm. i'm not saying it's not there i'm just saying i don't know but i would love to go to heaven i i as i said i give uh, i give uh, people freedom of believing in uh, whatever they want to believe i don't judge i do not judge people um for their beliefs, and I expect also to receive the same treatment from from other people, people, from yeah. other people. But most of the time, I have to be honest. I get judged. Uh, yes, the because Christian comes to you with, "You don't go to church. You yes. should go to church." This is yes. This is very critical. It's like either you go to church or you don't. Like 
you don't go to church you don't go to church it's fine if you like going to church if you believe in church it's fine if other people christian is fine other people maybe go to other religion it's okay as well as they're right and let mm -hmm. them be thank you so much for watching we are actually leaving for malta tomorrow. malta so for the time you are going to watch this video we are going to be on the beach remember to check lempi's uh, instagram channel if you want to check for our updates yeah and pictures yeah if, if we get good weather because we checked that the weather is going to be really bad and on cold. friday and Sat uh, on friday, saturday friday and saturday is going to be better hopefully we make it to the beach then otherwise we'll spend the whole time i don't know maybe in restaurants eating yeah eating for sure <laughs> eating for sure anyway guys thank you so much and have a nice day see you in our next video bye ciao, bye, ciao, bye. Ciao.